Hello everyone. So our overall goal here is to address the learning loss that has taken place due to COVID in order to increase student achievement and move them towards college and career readiness. So before we move any further, let's get a definition of learning loss. So what I'd like you to do is just take a minute to pause the video and read this definition. Okay, now that you've looked at it, um, the two parts that if I were to be able to summarize it would be it's clear that we don't want to go towards remediation because that would take away from rigorous engaging grade level content and therefore we would want to address unfinished learning in a constructive manner. So we feel that connecting the priority instructional content standards to our curriculum could be a good place to start in order to have a constructive plan. Now what we're going to do is I am going to be showing you how we've aligned the priority instructional content to the curriculum. So now we're looking at the priority instructional content and the connections to the curriculum. It's on this Google Sheet that you can you can get in the next section of this course. So let me give you an overview of how to navigate through this document. So you can see at the top that you have um, your grade level, your PIC, uh, your domain, your cluster, and Savas topic lessons. And moving a little further to the right, you have here the um, RTI piece of Savas. So I'm going to start from the left. I'm looking at grade four. Down at the bottom here, you can see that uh, each tab represents a grade level. So you can click on the grade level that you'd like. I'm in grade four. I'm going to scroll down and show you all the priority standards on this grade. So there's one, two, three, four. So we see four. Now, going back up, this document moves from left to right. So if I'm looking at the first priority standard for OAA, Operations and Algebraic Thinking, it gives me the cluster. And then you can see that um, within that cluster, you have um, bolded numbers, one, two, and three. So the, that would be 40A1, 40A2, three. And then moving to the right, taken from Savas, it's going to give you that standard. Um, and it's also going to give you where in the student's edition and the teacher's edition, you can find lessons for that standard. So instead of having to go back and go through an entire topic, um, this is focusing on that particular standard. And you can see that there are um, sectioned off in lessons instead of entire topics. It also suggests the reteaching. And it's broken into, again, like I said, student pages and teacher pages, which makes it very easy for you to navigate through your curriculum. Once you've revisited that, with the priority instructional content and perhaps you're having students that you want them to have a little extra work um, to do in a center or you want to work with them individually. Um, if I scroll to the right here, you can see that the resource for the uh, math diagnostic intervention system within Savas um, is a place where you can get additional resources. If you're not familiar with um, this diagnostic and intervention system, you can click on these links here. Uh, the first link is going to, this is for each one is for their grade level. The first link is going to show you exactly again the standard. So you locate that priority instructional content standard. It's then going to, if you look all the way to the right, it's going to give you that intervention lesson that you can get. Now, if you don't know where to find those intervention lessons, you can click on the second link here. And that second link is going to jump you to this, which is just a short step-by-step -step on how to get to the intervention system within Savas. That's how you navigate through this page. Um, it would work identical going down through each priority instructional content. You would just scroll down and look at the Savas resource and what particular lessons best touch on that particular standard, which I think is great. So you don't have to feel like you have to teach the entire topic if you're focusing on that particular standard. Okay, thank you. I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram with the link below or just go ahead and scan the QR code. Thanks and have fun.